When I was little, my brothers were the only ones boxing, and I would come to the gym with them, but I wouldn't practice because my dad didn't want me to. They said, no, you don't need a box. You can go play volleyball, play basketball, be a cheerleader, you know, do, do something else. I always thought that everything that my brothers could do, I could do better. We hit low, pinpoint. So it kind of bugged me that they were boxing and I wasn't. You know, I'm gonna box, I'm gonna box, I'm gonna box. We fought. We fought for a couple of years, but I won. <laughs> Her winning streak continues. At age 18, Mariah Bahi is a seven time national amateur boxing champion. Head movement. Now she's got her sights on representing the U.S. and Navajo Nation going for gold at the 2024 Olympics. Head movement. Her coach is her dad, Johnny Bahi. She's my princess. And that's where her team name comes from, it's Team Princess. Johnny's great uncle, Lee Damon, a World War II veteran, learned to box in the service. Now you're sweating. When he returned home to Chinle, Arizona, he found many in the community struggling with gang violence and drug abuse. He built this gym to teach his nephews the sport and keep them safe. My dad picked it up and says it saved his life. He kept him out of trouble, kept him in the gym, away from the gangs, away from alcohol and drugs as well. Eventually, I took over. Away from him, you need a jab and move. My brothers inspire me. I see them as my biggest competition. So I can overstep them or work harder than them. That round. Good, good body head. My first match, I remember before going into the ring, I was crying because I was scared and I was nervous. When you move to your left, triple jab, 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 jab. Step over. Good girl. After the first round, I was really calm and then we continued the fight and I lost, but I was happy because it was my first fight. And I figured a couple of fights down the road, she's going to get hit hard. She's not going to want to compete no more. You're starting to get tired. You got to move your head. That's part of your defense. She went to national tournament. You're the counter. And she fought a young lady who threw the perfect cook. Fractured her nose. I said, OK, I guess we're done with boxing with her. We'll keep up with my boys. But once the nose healed, she was back in the ring. Good job, guys. This is one of your fights, you know. You're in South Dakota. <laughs> I love your entrance here, it's pretty cool. With your flag. They never know how to say Bahi. I know. When I was growing up, my mom was basically the only woman I had in my life. She's my best friend. She's the hardest worker I've seen. And I cherish the times I have with her. What were you thinking then? I was scared. Why? Because she was older and she was bigger. I can see her right there. I push my daughter and my kids to go off and go do things. I tell her, don't, don't let a man work for you, you know? Be your own boss, make your own money, buy your own house. Do it for yourself. I know it wasn't easy, but <laughs> we made it look easy. She wants to be the first Native American female to compete on the United States boxing team in the Olympics. The Olympics has always been my goal since I had my first fight. Her goals, her ambitions, I pushed her a long ways. She's only 18. She's a seven-time national boxing champion. I've seen her compete with the top females in the nation, and 
have heard them say, I'm going to knock out this little Indian girl. I'm going to stop her. At the end of the fight, Mariah is still standing.